Hey everyone, I'm Will Terrell and welcome to this video. It is Monday, February 20th, 2017 and um, it's been a while since I made a video. I feel like the last five videos I've said it's been a while since I made a video. <laughs> uh, Things are good. Life has been pretty good. Uh, I mean, it seems like the world's falling apart, but other than that, life's pretty good. <laughs> I'm still working at Warner Brothers. I've been, uh, we just finished up season one on the show I'm working on. They still haven't announced what show it is, uh, so I can't talk about it just yet, but I'm really excited about it. It's a classic, and it's really funny. The showrunner is hilarious, and every cartoon he's cranked out has been really funny so far. I just finished season one, and they actually had me back for season two, so I've got a little bit of job stability for this year, which is amazing to me uh, for being a, I went from being a comic book artist for 15, 20 years and like paycheck to paycheck. Sometimes the checks don't show up. You know, that, that's how it goes with freelance life. <laughs> Always a little bit desperate. So it's, it's been really nice having a, a steady paycheck for the last year, year and a half. It's been, um, it's been life changing, I can say. I mean, it's, it's such a, a paradigm shift for me. It's hard to explain really like I, I'm I just turned 40 years old this year and growing up as you know when I was a kid our family never quite had enough money you know we, we always it was always a struggle and um, lots of insecurity and so to finally like not just be able to pay all my bills but to be able to pay off all my debt and um, have money to invest in other people and and um, savings <laughs> it's been really incredible but a weird thing has happened i don't feel it's like my my the fuel i've always used to create is gone now it's uh it doesn't work anymore because i was always you know i'd work really hard so i can get the paycheck so i can pay the bills that's due a week ago <laughs> or next week or whatever in the rare occasions i had enough money like in savings i could float for a month or two but that was never really enough you know uh, and so this is the first time where I'm just, just having fun, not worried about things, but, uh, I'm also, it, honestly, this has been a low point. This has been the lowest point in my life creatively. As much as I love drawing all day long at work, it's not the most creative. <laughs> I, cause I, I'm not really drawing, I'm designing. Designing is a different thing than sketching all day long. Uh, it's different than drawing comic book pages. It's different than doing caricature illustration. And um, I mean, I guess the closest equivalent is like doing t-shirt design, graphic design, where you just got to design on demand, but you don't have a lot enough time to like really think about it and uh, and and uh, get creative. Um, so it's been, I, I've been feeling really stuck for. A while now you could probably tell <laughs> like if you follow me on any of my social medias uh, it's mostly baby videos and pictures <laughs> not so many cartoons anymore <laughs> but that's also you know because my baby is adorable and I love hanging out with them all the time but I, I really haven't been sketching much this is I've had a sketchbook for about a year now and that's like and I'm I, I can almost finish it but I'm just haven't really been driven to draw or sketch. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> and because of that, I really haven't been making videos either. And I feel awful because I, I want to make videos. Like I, I think about it every day. Like I want to make videos. I want to make videos. I want to, you know, entertain and, and, and create daily joy for the world and make other people's lives better and, you know, but I really, it has been a struggle just being excited and motivated. So the purpose of this video is I am going to attempt something <laughs> that I've been thinking about for a while, but it kind of scares the crap out of me uh, just thinking about it. Just because um, when you put something out there, it immediately makes it possible for you to fail. <laughs> <laughs> you have equal opportunities for the possibility of success and the possibility of failure 
Um, only, you know, when you're doing it on a YouTube video, it's feels much more embarrassing because you've got, you know, lots of people watching and expecting if you say you're going to do something. <laughs> Anyways, get to the point. A friend of mine, his name's Kevin Cross. He's got a great channel. Uh, I can put a link in the description and at the bottom of the video here. Kevin Cross, he's a comic book artist up in Portland, Oregon. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. You probably, if you followed his channel, you've seen me pop up on there a few times in the last couple months. But he does, he started this thing a few years ago called 100 Days of Making Comics, where for 100 days you spend 30 minutes at least making comic books. And uh, he's applied it to making comics and living a more meaningful life. <laughs> which uh, I like, that's appealing to me, because I love comic books. That's uh, that's what I really want to do with my life, but it doesn't pay very well. Really, it doesn't. It's, it's, a, it's a gamble to make a living with it, but it's where my heart is. It's like a bad addiction I just can't stop thinking about. Um, but it's been so long since I've actually, like, I, I started off wanting to be a writer in comic books. I don't know if any of y'all know that, but I wasn't an artist. I, I learned to draw so that I could write my own stories, um, because I was so tired of, you know, not being able to find artists to finish things. <laughs> so, uh, I started writing my first year or so back when I was 19 and, um, and then I started going to comic conventions and people would, you know, I'd show my, my comics that I'd drawn and written to people and, uh, everybody would tell me like how terrible the artwork was and they're, they're like, have you thought about you know, becoming an accountant, anything but doing comics, because <laughs> you're you're in for a, years and years of heartache. It was true. Like they were they weren't lying to me. I was in for years of of frustration and heartache at you know trying to make a living doing this thing that I was passionate about, but I was actually really terrible at. So I became obsessed with becoming a professional artist and getting good enough that I I could get hired and and people would accept my work and and think that I was good enough whatever that means and I stopped writing and it's been 20 years since I've actually like written a real story even though I think about stories all the time like I I've got like probably 20 folders like full of just story ideas but no like finished scripts uh, and definitely no finished comic books that I've like written and drawn other than I, I did a web comic a few years ago for about two years called Super Zeros uh, but those were like strips. Those were gag strips. Uh, there was no like real story. It didn't really go anywhere. And I found that really frustrating. And I started taking classes whenever I could on, on how to write because I didn't want to just write stories. I wanted to write stories that were meaningful to me. Um, sort of like what I do with YouTube videos. Like I, I want to be able to um, make a positive impact on other people's lives with my videos. Um, you know, through telling stories, through being encouraging. I would like to be able to do that with my comic books, too. Uh, the problem with that, I've discovered, especially in the last year, is that it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> High expectations. It's almost guaranteed failure. <laughs> the, and the other thing with that, too, is uh, there's a thing, there's a comic book artist named Kazu Kibuishi, who I love. Uh, he does a book called Amulet, and he did uh, a webcomic called Copper. Um, he started the Flight Anthology books. Just a really phenomenal creator. Uh, but he talks about this thing called idea debt. And idea debt is when when it's been so long since you've created something that the next thing you've got to do, the, the next thing you do has to be so good that it pays off your debt creatively. Uh, and I, I, you know, not financial debt, your creative debt. And the longer it goes on, the more debt you accrue, and so you're never going to pay it off. You can never do a project that's so good, so big and spectacular that that uh, everybody's going to be wowed by it. Because if it's like trying to run a marathon, if you haven't been, if you can't even run a mile, there's no way you're going to finish a marathon. And same thing with sto telling stories. Like if you want to tell phenomenal stories, you got to start off you know, doing the, the trudge around the block a few times with, you know, telling a story. And, um, that's where I'm at right now is I need to take some baby steps. I need to take a few runs around the block, which by the way, I'm speaking metaphorically, 
but also physically. Like, I've been trying to run more lately. Hence the idea of 100 days of making comics and living a more meaningful life. <laughs> so this video. This video is uh, day zero, I guess. Uh, I'm putting it out there that I'm going to make, you know, every day for the next 100 days, uh, I'm going to draw for at least, or create for at least 30 minutes a day on a comic book. Uh, I already have a story that I started on, um, and I'm actually signed up for a class. And I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. And um, in the class, we're, we're working. It's supposed to be creating and drawing a 12-page story, and it's got to be finished by the end of the class. And it's like a 10-week class, and uh, it starts tomorrow. So that's going to help, and then uh, I'll have another month or so after that to, like, uh, to keep doing the 100 Days of Making Comics. And at the end of that, there's actually a comic convention back in my hometown called Lubbock Con, and I, uh, I'm a guest at it, and I'm going to have a table, and I would like to have a book, a new book there, this new book, uh, that I will create the next 100 days. <laughs> but along with that, I'm going to try to do a daily video vlog, uh, that's the part that scares me is because I don't want it to become about making videos instead of making comics But I also need some accountability and I miss you guys. I really it breaks my heart that it's been So long since I've like made videos intentionally like I, I did the Strathmore videos a few months ago back in September and um, That ha that was a really great response, but I like it felt like you know, I didn't, I just, I miss you guys. I'm sorry it's been so long. So these videos are going to be pretty short, maybe three or four minutes each. Maybe. <laughs> I do talk a lot. And you're welcome to play along if you want to do the 100 Days of Making Comics yourself. I know not everybody that watches my channel is a comic book artist, but hopefully I can bring a little bit of daily joy into your life again. Yeah, I miss you guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Keep smiling.